Recently, my game went off the cliff. I mean, nosedive. The byproduct of all the editing that I do is that I can't help but look at my own swing. <laughs> and it's, it was something that dawned on me a while ago, is uh, videoing my swing and looking at it wasn't doing me any favours whatsoever, because I'm always going to see things I don't like. Um, when all I needed to do really was just look at the ball flight because the ball will tell me if I've hit a good shot or not. Now I'm going to try and clarify to you a little bit more about what my idea of a full shot is because I think I might have got that wrong a bit. I'm going to admit that. I think I might have given you guys the wrong concept. If you've ever played Wii Golf before then you will know exactly what I mean when I say you go above that power bar, you've tried to hit it too hard and now you've just lost control. So instead of hitting a full shot, I'm going to hit a controlled shot. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to play with absolutely no GPS today. I'm just going to play off of the 150 markers because the last thing I want to do is think too much. I'm just going to start my round off. I've had absolutely no warm up. I've just walked straight from the car park to the first tee. And uh, here we go. What I'm going to do, go first of all, is tee off with a pitching wedge. So once I've got my shot selection, the only thing I'm thinking about or concentrating on is strike. So to do that, I use my polo drill. Now, if you've never seen that, all I like to do is just visualize I'm hitting a polo. Because if I can hit a polo off of the floor, I'm gonna have to hit the floor at the same point, at the point right underneath that polo. What I can do then is introduce a ball, sits perfectly on top of it, and now I can strike the polo. It's forcing me to think about a point directly underneath that ball rather than thinking of the ball itself I can just hit directly that point underneath it and once you get confident with that you can take the polo away then hit the ball thinking about that polo underneath it right so I've got a ditch uh, up there so I'm not going to go for the green I'm just going to lay up short of the ditch that's why I played a pitching wedge off the tee to give me a nice easy shot that I'm not even going to bring the ditch into play because I could have played a longer club off the tee but if I hadn't got that right, I would have made the layup to over the ditch a very difficult shot because it would have been quite close, which then may, would have made me probably go for the green. And then that's where the bad score is going to happen and that's where I'm going to start to lose my head quite quickly. So instead with this, I've now got another simple shot. I'm kind of warming up as the round goes on. So I've got my uh, sand wedge here and I'm just looking to play a shot up there. But like I said, I'm not playing with yardages, I'm going to play shots. So I'm seeing where I'm aiming this for, and I'm just going to hit a ball towards a target. Happy days. I'm just going to stand over this ball and see what feels right. See what shot presents itself to me. on the one so yeah little cut I think cut it in there oh, I think that's worked out very nicely this is exactly what I was trying to do is I wanted to get myself back into seeing shots, feeling shots, hitting shots, not being worried about and tied down to have I got the right club for the right yardage, yada, yada, yada. You know what? You can make a club do pretty much whatever you want once you get the hang of it. And this is going to sound a bit like advanced again, but it really isn't that advanced. Once you understand that the golf club is just a grass cutting tool. Go and check out my man, Sean Clement. I mean, he's got the best information about how to hit a golf ball on YouTube, in my opinion, bar none. Once you understand the concept of how to hit a golf ball, I wanna try and help you guys learn how to play golf. Cause that's what this is. This is a sport and it's a game. Let's play it. So this hole here, I'm going to be playing 
my four iron, which is far too much club for this hole. But what I want to do is give myself a shot. Oh. oh, that's what I'm talking about, hitting shots, I'm making swings. What I'm effectively doing here is every time I get to a shot, I mean I'm 100 yards in, instead of picking a club that goes 100 yards, I'm going to find the shot that I want to play. Now, if you start asking yourself better questions, you will come up with better answers. So the question I'm asking myself here is, with all these kind of shots, is is it better to be short or long? Because on this hole here, the answer is clearly long. I do not want to entertain the front of that green with that water sitting there. So I'm going to go towards the back of the green. I'm going to try and fly it over the top of the flag. It's a wider part of the green and it's a safer shot to play. So I've got a club that I know is going to clear the front of the green. I know how far away I am, but I've got a club that's going to clear the front of the green. And now I just need to feel a shot that's going to give me that. I've got the ball a little bit below my feet as well. So that's going to promote more of a, an out to win swing path, an open club face at impact all that stuff so I'm going to see more of a shot that goes that way I could try and fight it but or I could just work with it now there's plenty of room over to that side so I actually the ball drifting that way is no problem because there's a bunker on that right hand side so I'm actually thinking to myself yeah I might as well play that little cut so just start it somewhere between the bunker and the hole and then let it drift out 